Congestion is increasing. There are more cars in the road, more roads are congested, and delays are getting longer. Don't you get tired of driving in traffic? Constantly dealing with traffic can be stressful and have long-term impacts on your physical and mental health. Wouldn't it be great if you could live, work, and shop in the same area without spending so much time and money having to drive everywhere? Or at least have a safe, reliable, and convenient way to walk, bike, or take transit to get to most of your destinations? Transit-Oriented Development, or TOD, gives you those options. TODs start with a bus or rail transit station. The TOD area is a quarter to a half mile around the station. This is where we want to maximize the amount of residential, business, and public space within a 5 to 10 minute walk to the station. You'll find condos, apartments, townhouses, offices, shops, public parks, and plazas forming the mixed-use hub around the station. TODs have street designs that encourage walking and biking with compact blocks, safe and attractive walkways, well-marked pedestrian signage, and other amenities. Since fewer people need to drive, parking lots take up less space and are incorporated into buildings or located just outside the TOD area. One size doesn't fit all when it comes to TODs. There are different types for different areas, so they fit with their surrounding communities. These areas could be urban or suburban, with varying mixes of residential, office, and retail spaces. Housing could include high or mid-rise condos or apartment and townhomes in urban areas, and mid- or low-rise units, townhomes, and small-lot single-family homes in more suburban areas. Businesses could range from high-rise offices with street-level retail in urban areas to local retail with apartments above and live-work spaces in the suburbs. TODs provide more options for how we live and travel. Transit-oriented development supports livable communities for all ages. All residents can have a better quality of life when jobs, shopping, healthcare, and entertainment are more accessible. This is especially important for the growing number of senior citizens, youth, and people who can't or prefer not to drive. Seniors are more mobile and connected to the community and services. Millennials are attracted to work environments with affordable housing and access to transit, biking, and pedestrian amenities. As employers compete for high-skilled workers to fill the jobs of the future, transit-oriented developments will help them attract the best and brightest talent. TODs also reduce expenses. Housing and transportation costs are the two highest expenses for most families. TODs often decrease household expenses due to the reduced need and expense of personal automobiles. Development associated with TODs is often cheaper than sprawling developments that require new automobile infrastructure. Proximity to transit stations can also create higher, more stable property values and create an enhanced ability to maintain economic competitiveness through redevelopment and infill development. Finally, TODs are better for the health of our communities and our environment. The improved safety and creation of pedestrian-friendly environments allows for a healthier lifestyle with more walking and less stress. By providing active travel choices, TODs can help create a cleaner environment due to the reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from automobile use. They can also reduce water runoff and flooding by reducing hard infrastructure and incorporating green spaces that help absorb excess water. So, how do we create these great places? Over time, land use and zoning practices led to low-density, auto-dependent development. This keeps places to live, work, and shop separated, so it requires driving to get from one place to another and increased parking demand at all these separate locations. It also makes it harder to connect these places with transit. Regional or local governments can encourage TODs through land use planning, zoning laws, and changes to building codes. TOD projects can be made possible by using federal funding, public-private partnerships or incentives, including reduced parking requirements, fee waivers, streamlined permitting, and special zoning. Local governing authorities, transit agencies, business and property owners, and citizens can work together to make these changes. Looking back at the way many of our communities were built, we can see that they centered around ports and rail stations. People lived, worked, and shopped around these transportation hubs. As the economy became more industrialized and cities became more crowded, we separated commercial and industrial areas from residential areas. Eventually, we spread housing and businesses so far apart that many communities have become disconnected. 
Transit-oriented development is a way to bring that connection back, to put people and our quality of life first, to give us options for getting around, and to ensure that people have a way to get to work, shopping and recreation, even if they don't want to drive or have a car. If you want to be able to walk, bike, or take transit to get where you need to go every day, let us know. Together, we can make TOD a reality and ensure a healthier, happier, and more economically successful future for Northeast Florida. For more information, visit www.jtafla.com.